How's it going guys? Dre here and welcome back to Simple Rockets 2. Now today we're going to be checking out some downloaded creations in the Simple Rockets universe. And I wanted to show you guys what Simple Rockets is really all about because yes indeed you can- Oh, oh god. As I was saying, yes, you can make ordinary shuttles, but what makes simple planes and simple rockets so cool is you can build whatever your heart is content with. So, I thought this was an actual ship, but it looks like it's an airship. So, obviously, let's start off with this. We're going to take this off. We're just going to have some fun today. We might, you know, build upon some designs and try and get uh, deeper into space, but for right now, I just want to see this thing work. So, let's actually get to daytime. Just so we can see this thing in the beautiful sunlight, there we go, and, uh, I have no idea how to control this, I gotta assume it'll be pretty straightforward, though, so, there we go! Oh, man, this doesn't feel like a ship at all! Uh, and I guess we gotta go to the next stage, yes, to move forward! I hope we didn't need those pieces of the ship, this is crazy, now what happened? Okay, I pressed a button, and it just combusted! So, maybe you shouldn't press buttons. Alright, let's try that again. Stage 2, here we go. So, those are the only stages this thing has. So, obviously, it's not... Jesus! It's made to go deep into space, but still, we got a beautiful flying boat, and a ballerina boat at that, too. Oh, man, the explosions in this game are actually pretty damn cool. We have a turbo backpack. Now, I don't know what's going on at the bottom here. It looks like we do have a rocket engine. Is that going to attach to us? I have no idea. I have no idea how to fly this, by the way, so let's just let it go. Oh, my God. Okay, so it literally is a turbo backpack. And can we make it to space with this guy, though? That's the bigger question. He looks dead already. I think we killed him on the launch. That was a pretty aggressive launch. So it looks like, oh god, oh, I didn't mean to go that crazy. Okay, hold on, buddy, hold on, hold on. Oh, we might run into an issue here. There we go, still going straight up. We might actually make it to space. It looks like it has one more parachute stage, though, so if we don't make it to space, oh god, oh no. Oh, <laughs> is this, is this supposed to happen? Is this safe? I think we're breaking through the atmosphere, and clearly he's very happy about it. <laughs> Oh man, we're 17,000 meters up, 18, 19,000 meters up. We, I think we're actually gonna go into space. So I, I don't even think we're gonna need that parachute. But uh, yeah, let's just speed up time here. Oh, we can't actually speed up time unless we're outside the atmosphere. So technically we're still in the atmosphere. All right, that's fine. It burnt out anyways. Let's actually see our trajectory here and see what we're working with. So we actually went really freaking high as you can see. We're still pretty low. But it looks like the gravitational force of Earth will bring us back into the atmosphere here and crashing back down. So, back down we go, and yeah, <laughs> he's fallen. Oh, man, it's oddly beautiful. I don't know when I should uh, pull my parachute here. I don't want to rip his arms off. We are getting some serious speed, though. You know what? Let's pull it now. There we go, and hopefully... We have a nice, safe flight down. There we go, Rocket Man. All right, I clearly pulled the chute a little bit too high up. I've been falling since 38,000 meters, but uh, it looks like we're falling slow enough to actually have a nice landing. So, yeah, the first spaceman to make it back. We'll check on him a little bit later, possibly, but uh, I guess that actually technically I have to end the flight, right? Well, if we save and exit it, he should stay on the map forever. Your craft is on a collision course with the planet and will crash if left unintended. Are you sure you want to save and exit? Well, he should make a nice safe landing, hopefully. And the Soviets would be proud because we have the legendary KB-2 inside of Simple Rockets 2. So yes, uh, we have some land-based vehicles as well. If I could figure out how to drive this thing, that would be great. Okay, I'm going backwards. That's not good. We want to go this way. All right, but there we go. Look at that. I mean, tank treads are definitely not working. But hey, you got to start somewhere. And my god, this thing is so fast. I mean, look at this. We're going to get some freaking air here. Okay, yeah, this is this is really impressive. And of course, we can shoot with that as well. That thing didn't explode. It just kept rolling. What is this thing actually shooting? It looks to be it's just a little yellow piece. I have no idea what that is, but we got more of them. Seriously, man, this thing can get up some serious speed. Oh, this might hurt. Okay, there we go. You know what? We might actually be able to jump this. It looks like it's on a little bit of an angle. So for science, of course, I want to try and jump the water tower. I mean, why wouldn't you? <laughs> okay, a little bit of a hard hit there. 
All right, now driving a tank, don't get me wrong, that's a fun thing to do. But when you're given a KV-2 in a simple Rockets game, God damn it, you're going to try and take the thing to space. So that's what we're going to do right now. Uh, I'm going to try and somehow build this KV-2 into a rocket. And I'd like to have it staged as well. That way, if we do make this, you know, successful, maybe we can actually land it on the moon. That would be the ultimate goal. So we have an inner stage here. I'm going to add some actual parachutes to this thing. And I think with how heavy this is, it's probably going to take a couple of these things. So let's put this... Actually, can we um, turn on the symmetry tool? And it looks like, yeah, unfortunately, there we go. I want to get it on both sides, but I don't think it's going to work like that. All right, so for now, I think two should be good. We'll test it out. We'll do a test flight and see if two is enough uh, pull to not, you know, explode this thing on the ground. So obviously, this thing's going to need a fuel canister so or a fuel tank. So we're going to attach that to the back of this. For some reason, the lip isn't exactly like the other one. That's totally fine. This thing is not going to be made perfectly. That's for damn sure, but god damn it. As long as we can take it off and land it even on Earth, I'll be totally happy with this design. So let's actually expand this out a little bit. I, I want a nice big tank, you know? So let's do something like that. We'll have to see how big the actual rockets are. Now, how many stages... Do I want more stages? We can always add more rockets to the side of it if we need more stages. Uh, for right now, we're just going to take the Apex engine here, and we might be able to get multiples on here. Hell, we might even be able to do... Well, it wants to just do one. There's only one connection point. So I guess that's all we're going to get. I think that should be more than enough. Let's test the propulsion of this just to see if we can take it off. All right, stage one of the Soviet Express. We're going to just do a simple launch test and see if the parachute works. So here we go. Enough propulsion to lift it up. You can see this thing isn't stabilized perfectly. We have a little bit more weight in the front. Obviously, there's a there's a turret there, so we're going to pause the game and try and stabilize this as much as possible. So let's try and pull it back a little bit. We'll put it at 72 degrees. That way, it's fighting against... Oh, my God. Okay, that, that's that's too much. That's way too much. We'll put it at 80. Uh, it should auto automatically try and stabilize itself, though. And look at that! Look at that, guys! It's freaking working, kind of. I mean... Definitely not the most stable rocket that I've ever seen. But is a KV-2 supposed to be the most stable rocket? Probably not. So I want to see how much uh, power we have right now. We might need to get some more fuel tanks. I think we're definitely going to need another stage if we do want to get somewhere else in the cosmos. Uh, so I might add even like four more fuel tanks to the sides of this. That way we could really get this thing going far. But we're uh, currently 4,000 altitude, half burned. That really isn't that good, to be totally honest, but I didn't expect it to be that good uh, just because of how heavy and deformed we are. I mean, I'm amazed this thing's even able to fly, so we got that going for it. All right, let's actually angle this a bit, see if we can maybe land it somewhere else on the planet that's pretty far away. I'm going to slowly angle it because this thing might fall out of the freaking sky. All right, starting to get some at atmospheric resistance, as you can see, because we're going so damn fast. Get it at a nice 45-degree angle. There we go. Uh, surface speed, 450 meters, and climbing and altitude. Actually, we might make it close to out outer space. I don't want to go into outer space, though. I want to get somewhere else on this planet. So we're going to try and get as far away as possible from the actual launch site, which, as you can see, is pretty much below us. All right, and officially, we are out of fuel. That means get rid of... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I forgot. What did I do wrong there? Wait, is the fuel tank not attached to my other uh, decoupler? Oh, god damn it. Okay, see, this, this is this is why you need to do testing. Because the, the fuel tank's not supposed to be there, damn it. So I got to figure out what the hell happened there. You can see, yeah, it's not even attached. It's not even attached to the fuel tank. So that was inside of the other thing. Uh, yeah, this is not going to land well, guys. We're actually gaining altitude. We might actually... No, we are definitely going to fall over time. Let's speed up time here. It doesn't look like we can actually speed it up. All right. Well, it looks like we might actually land it, but this is not how it's supposed to be intended. So let's go back and flight and see if we can fix this thing. Okay, there we go. That's all I had to do was drag it down. That was so easy. I guess now that we're here, though, we might actually want to start thinking about maybe putting one more stage on this thing. Because, I mean, look at the size of this sucker. This is just crazy. All right, so we're going to need some side inner stages. Now, this thing's angled, so i got to figure out 
how I want to do this. I want my rockets nice and low. The sides are pretty much flat. They're actually going in, it looks like, a little bit. So I think what I'll do is to do two big side rockets, and that is it. So we're going to, um, hopefully this actually works. The, uh, symmetry tool hasn't been working very well for this, so we're gonna do radial times two. There we go. We got it on both sides. If we put it on times four, yeah, you can see because it's angled, it gets all screwy, and, uh, we definitely don't want that. So let's get it back on times two, and we'll put two big round stages on top of this. All right, so pretty sure I got the staging going on here. So stage one, side rockets. Then we can uh, decouple those with stage two. Stage three, main rocket. Decouple that with stage four. And then stage five is the parachutes at the top. And then in stage six is just all of the inner stages for the actual KV-2. I don't think we'll actually be able to drive this thing because it would it had like multiple stages for the KV-2 and I didn't keep it like that. But if we can land it somewhere, I'm happy with just that. Okay, so there we go. It's beautiful. It should be ready to rock and load. I'm worried it might be a little too heavy for liftoff now though because we did add a lot of weight. Well, we're only going to find out one way. Let's get this thing off the ground here and launch it. There we go. Yeah, with two rockets, actually, it's no problem at all. This is actually way faster than before. And, uh, yeah, we are leaning a bit to the back this time, actually, which is weird, because we were leaning to the front before, so that's all right. We can work against the, uh, weight difference on each side. I'm more happy we're able to at least get off the ground, so that's kind of exciting. There we go. You can see I can stabilize it to, to a degree. At least try and get it to work with me here, and there we go. We're going to be more stable going upwards. All right, so just for fun, let's see if we can make it to space. We're using some high burn engines, as you can probably tell. We're only 3,000 meters up, and we've already burnt 70% of our fuel, so pretty damn aggressive here. But these are just to get us to hopefully mostly space, and then we can work from there. We're going to pitch it to 45 degrees right now, try and get some speed on this thing, and get some serious distance away. Let's actually turn down the burners a little bit. I want to get further out of the atmosphere before we start really burning because we're just wasting fuel at this point. As long as we're having enough for upwards propulsion, that's all we really need, but it looks like it's going to burn out soon here anyways. Let's actually go full throttle. Looks like we are stalling a little bit, and bam! Next stage incoming, and there we go. It looks like we got a little bit of a problem, though. This thing's sticking with us. There we go. It pulled off when we spun. That's probably not safe, but hey, that's okay. I don't think we have enough fuel to get anywhere. I was really hoping we'd be able to make it to the moon, but these these engines here, we're just I think we're going to have to change engines cuz the Apex 1 is a fuel guzzler, man, and a fuel guzzler indeed. All right, what are we at now angle-wise? Let's angle it even more. If we can get it into orbit, that'd even be fun. But ultimately, I'd like to get to the moon. Oh, we're having problems. We're having problems. I'm losing altitude. I'm trying to gain it looks like, yeah, we're a little bit wobbly, as you can probably tell. We're definitely gaining surface speed, which is nice, but I'm not actually able to lift this thing up. I'm trying to angle this right and get this thing a little bit higher into the sky, but you can see, I think I screwed up its trajectory. We're actually falling out of the sky now, so at least we can test the uh, parachutes here. I don't think we're going to be able to make it to the moon. Yeah, you can see, I don't know why I'm nose diving so much. I'm supposed to be going up higher, but we are quickly making it into the ground here. So I'm going to have to pull the chute soon. Even if we can land it somewhere, that would be pretty cool. I'm going to kill the engines here. We're going to rock this off and, oh, I think we're stuck in it. Let's find out here. There we go. Pulled it off and get that thing the hell out of here. Hopefully, this is enough to slow us down. Oh, man, it is wobbling like crazy. There goes my fuel tank, though. It looks like it's getting... Yeah, it just hit the ground now, so we are dropping really quickly. Uh, this is going to have to have a nice light landing. I don't think that's going to happen, but... Oh, God. Here we go. We're going to find... Oh, God! That was so fast. All right, we're actually getting some distance this time. I still think we don't have enough fuel with those Apex One engines to... Uh make it even into orbit. What are we at now? 20,000 feet up, or sorry, 20,000 meters up. Uh, we're at about, what was it? A 30 degree angle. I think I'm going to go a little bit more aggressive. We'll drop it down to 22. And I want to see if we could get this thing into space, that'd be great. But I, again, we're running out of fuel pretty damn quickly here. I'm going max though. I want to see if we can expand this thing out. 
I don't think it's going to get into orbit, though. That's all right. I also, as you can see, added triple the amount of parachutes because uh, clearly two was not enough. So at least we can test out those if we don't actually get into orbit, which it doesn't look like because we're actually dropping altitude right now. So its problem is it's so top heavy that I have to kind of play this one totally different. If I want to actually get into orbit, if I tested it out a lot, though, I think I could actually turn this into a real rocket because it is flyable, as you can clearly see. Oh, God damn it. Now it's going to be on top of me. All right, we're 20,000 meters up. Let's do it right away. I want to make sure we have the best chance possible. And look at that. I don't know how we don't have an entanglement there, but that is six parachutes. And hopefully that's enough to make sure this tank is lightfully landed. All right, I'm not feeling good about this. We are less than 1,000 meters away, but look at still how quickly we're dropping. Hard to tell until you're too low to do any changes, but I don't think this is good. Oh, man, this... How heavy is a KV-2? God, I'm gonna need more parachutes than tank! All right, we're back. Basically in outer space. This time, as you can see, my tank looks like it has some sort of disease. That disease is the need for a decent parachute. And God damn it, I just threw them wherever I could. We got 18 of these suckers on this. If this can't keep the tank from blowing up, I don't think anything will. I think the tank is just too heavy at that point. Uh, are we in... Are we... Okay, we are going to come down. It looks like we're going to come down, thankfully, on land. So, we're, oh, it looks like we can't warp speed because we're still inside the atmosphere. So, we'll just kind of spin up for a little bit. I don't want to deploy my parachutes now just because it would take forever to fall 54,000 meters while having parachutes deployed. Okay, we're coming down like a damn rock. And uh, we might actually burn up here soon. So, let's... Oh, God, deploy it. Man, that was a hard, hard stop. We're still falling really, really fast, though. So, a little bit worried, but god damn it, if this doesn't work, like, look at look at this. Look at this. It's like freaking up. It's basically Soviet up. And I'm talking about a Disney movie, if you don't know. Uh, but yeah, this, this, gotta, this has to work, right? I gotta assume 18 parachutes is enough. If this isn't enough, I, I don't know what to tell you, man. That is just... That's just over the top. Okay, we're definitely falling slower. You can see the altitude meter isn't as aggressive. We're still dropping at an alarming rate, though. I mean, look at those meters go by. Since I started talking, we dropped 400. So, I don't know if this is going to do it. I mean, the KV-2 is supposed to be a tank, though. It's supposed to be strong. So, even if it has a little bit of a hard landing, it should be enough. But, uh, well, we're going to find out real quick, man. It's going so fast. That time, I mean, it's not on its tracks. It didn't fully explode, but god damn it, it still amazingly got quite destroyed. And that's a little bit of a bummer. I'm going to be the first to admit that. I thought we would have had it there with 18 parachutes. But yeah, that wasn't enough. So I think we're going to end this episode of Simple Rockets here. It's a good day when you take a Soviet vehicle to space. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that this is indeed not just all about basic rockets. You can design whatever you want in this game and upload it for people to share. So if you guys like the idea of checking out some more of these designs later on and maybe trying to make more weird rockets out <laughs> of weird player submissions, uh, yeah, I'm always down for it. I would love to get something like this to the moon. Uh, by the way, I never actually showed you guys, like, there's a lot to this game. It's not just, you know, playing on a planet. There is a whole solar system here that we can explore and try and make it to, so basically, it's a lot like Kerbal Space Program. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, checking out some player-made creations today. Thank you so much for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.